you yeah, had to take off the top half of the intake manifold all I did is use the I used the 10 millimeter for this bolt right here and then put that on the side and then these other ones right here there's one two three four five six seven of them I've already taken these out I use a 12 millimeter and then the next thing is these hoses right here like that and these ones just connect to each other on the pelum and then you just lift this thing you just lift this thing off I guess oh I got this right here I guess I'll have to disconnect this forgot about it there we go so I think that should be it there we go so there's the intake pillow the top half I'm going to put it in its own little box to keep the dirt out and I'll just tape over that but that's what it's looking like right now Yeah, this is the fuel rail right here, and you need like a special tool to fit down in there, and that fuel line should pop off pretty easy. I'm going to put like a towel here because fuel will come out even though there's no pressure in the lines. To remove the fuel rail and the electrical wiring that go to the injectors, the wiring goes back here in the back, and you can see there's like this there's a grounding wire there's a plug that goes to this thing right here and then there's like a temperature sensor or something that this other plug goes to so I'm going to disconnect those three things and then I'm going to take these out and then there's these like little spacers back in there that are going to want to fall off you just got to take this off like real careful and catch those spacers before they fall down into the engine if you want you could remove this and down here there's like another there's like another bolt down there somewhere that holds this whole entire unit in I've depressurized it by removing a plug from the inside of my car I'm gonna go over here and it's underneath here in the wheel well I'm gonna take a picture of it right here But I'll come back out here. I disconnected that one connector and that's the fuel pump relay. And I did it whenever I had the intake and everything on the car and the car was able to start. What I did is I started my car up, I pulled that connector and then it shut the fuel pump off and then the engine started using the pressure that was in the line and then the, the engine just died out one other thing I want to show you I'm going to put put this little thing right here this is the this is a proper tool that you need what it does is it it splits right here like that and what you do is you fit it around this fuel line yeah, you just fit this around there like that and then it pushes down here we go it just pushes down like this and you can see that little tab kind of got pushed out if this will focus here but I'll take this out and you can see how it went back in but that's what this does is it it's a special little tool that you gotta buy at the at the auto parts store it's like a fuel quick disconnect but that's the thing that you need to disconnect the fuel line so I'm gonna get going here and take this apart and put it in fast forward okay I have 
disconnected the electrical wiring back here. I've loosened these and I haven't taken I haven't taken these bolts out yet because they're spacers inside of here. So I just lifted this up and I've got a hold of the spacer. And then now that I got a hold of the spacer, I'm going to take the bolt out. So I'm just going to do that. See, there we go. There's the spacer that goes behind there. Because if you just take this off, them spacers will fall down or something maybe. So to prevent them from falling down and getting lost, uh, you, that's what you want to do. We got one spacer left right here. I got a hold of it, and there we go. So there we go. I got all the spacers out, and the next thing is just to like all this should just like lift up out of here. The injectors are just seated in there like really, really loose, and you just pull all this out of the way. And I'm just going to put a towel here or something and get prepared to remove this. And this is going to leak a lot. Okay, I've got my towel down. And I've got the fuel rail and the injectors and everything are in the fuel rail. But I've got the fuel rail kind of sloped this way. Because if, if I have it sloped like this, all the fuel is going to run out of the rail. So what I've done is I've put these put this so that it's angled and this is the high side so I'm going to push this in right there and pull this out there it goes it's sliding apart I disconnected this bracket all I got to do is just press these together and let that fall and get out of the way and then I have my fuel rail right here and I've got a fuel container right here. So what I'll do is I'll go like this and let that fuel run out of the rail. And there's like a ton of fuel under the, in the rail here. I pulled this top fuel injector out and then all that fuel went into the container there. So, but from past experience, I know that there's like a lot, lot more fuel inside of here. But there we go. I I filled the fuel container with most of the fuel that was in the rail, and I'll just go ahead and clean this up so that I can put it into a container or something without uh, without blowing something up. Okay, I have disconnected the fuel injectors from the fuel rail and the fuel was laying in the fuel rail and I did this and the fuel just spilled out the end and now the fuel rail is dry on the inside because I've let it sit for a while I will just go ahead and put the fuel rail into the container so that like dust and stuff doesn't get into the injectors or sand or whatever and there we go well, 